So it is Friday night, steak's resting, and I wanted to have something pretty decent with it tonight, since it is the start of a weekend. And I chose an obsidian wine that I've never had, and it's called The Chief. And this is a red blend, but it's primarily Cabernet Sauvignon, 75%, 12.5% Malbec, 12.5% Petit Verdot. So technically, that is a Bordeaux blend, sort of an uncommon Bordeaux blend, but Bordeaux allows, well, more now, but let's say Bordeaux used to allow about five grapes, well, did allow five grapes, maybe six Carmenere, but no one ever uses Carmenere. Now they've added a few others that are allowable, but let's forget those, talk about Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, those are the three primary, and then Malbec and Petit Verdot used very sparingly. I'd say Malbec's probably used the least <clears throat> in Bordeaux right now. But here, California, this uh, red blend, mostly Cabernet. So they could have labeled it Cabernet, or maybe not, because it's a state. Yeah, if it's a state grown, I think they have to have more Cabernet to be able to put Cabernet on the label with the rules of California. But excited to try this. I'm probably drinking it way too young, but I have more obsidian wines coming. I don't think I have a chief coming. We'll see how this is, see if I want it in the future. 14.9% 14 14 alcohol, all aged in Hungarian oak, I think 25% new, so shouldn't be overly oaked but it's got a lot of extraction from what i can tell alcohol is pretty high not that uncommon really anymore especially in a ripe vintage like 2019 out of california and i've only decanted this for maybe 30 minutes and it's a young wine but it doesn't smell overly overly ripe or unctuous yet And actually, it, it's got a, it's got some fruit, of course. There's, there's blackberry, cassis, like a mulled raspberry, but not overly ripe. And then there's a wilted flower aroma I'm getting. Yeah, there's definitely a floral aroma in a, in a really good way. It smells strong. I could like actually smell the alcohol a little bit. It, it's now opening up a little more to become more, more unctuous, but it's not. The Obsidian Estate Cab, the one that's about 30 something dollars, I forget what this calls, let's say it's 50 ish has this volatile acidity balsamic vinegar slight aroma that i could detect on it. it it blows off over time actually the last obsidian i had was a 2017 and fennel came out it was unbelievable and i really didn't get a lot of that va and balsamic vinegar this has none of that va balsamic vinegar i don't smell fennel yet but this that other obsidian needed to be decanted for like two hours to get to that fennel let's see Something you can use the word minerally is so overused, but there's something about the soils. These these are these are grown on volcanic soils in Lake County, and I can kind of tell that there's just something a little extra to the to this wine and to the expression of it. Like there is a slight minerally character. It's because some wines have it and some wines don't. This definitely has that. This is a medium plus bodied wine. The tannins are extremely smooth. So they're there, but they're they're satiny. They're wow, they're they're really yeah, for such a young wine. It's unbelievable how drinkable this is. It's good acidity. It's making my mouth water a little bit. It's got a delicious factor, but it's got an elegance to it. For, for a bigger-ish wine, so Malbec and Petit Verdot uh, can produce some big wines as cabs. So three grapes that can produce some big 
unctuous wine. I, this wasn't over oak, so you could kind of tell that. You definitely have some oak, but not, it's not a ton. This is really, really well balanced. This is, a, this is terrific. I don't know what to compare this to. Is this more California-esque or more Bordeaux-esque? It doesn't have a lot of that quality of Bordeaux, which has a little bit of a, a grainy tannin, a cedar, a leather. Those things aren't here. Earthiness. This definitely goes more towards... I'll tell you what, there is a, the tannin is there. <clears throat> but and, and you can't really tell it, you it, I said I could smell a little bit that it had a high alcohol some aroma but on the palate it is totally intermingled dispersed really well with the body and weight and acidity of this wine the alcohol is absolutely in check it's a delicious wine and it's an elegant wine all in the same so it, it checks those two boxes which is perfect This will be perfect with the steak, a great accompaniment. I couldn't be happier with this. This is fantastic. I would definitely get more. Based on the price, depends on how much I would order, the volume I would order. Like I said, I got a bunch coming from Obsidian, so I'll be doing an unboxing about 18 bottles. Mostly it'll be white, which will be surprising, but as per usual, I've found some aged white from there and can't wait to have some of those at my disposal. I am absolutely low, well, low. I'm out of any everyday weekday whites a few weekday reds remaining so I will need to go be I need to go purchase a few more weekday whites but steaks rested long enough I'm gonna go pair it with this wine that's it have a good night